cool right, mate? You get knuckles for Christmas. My name's Mike Minogue, and today's uh, my first day on this big time fucking movie, Is Errol the Fireman. While I've been in the film industry for a while, I've never done a day's acting in my life. Fucking watch and learn. This is a day in the life of me. Fucking good blokes, right? Jesus. Watch yourself, mate. It's uh, pretty much common knowledge that I'm the uh, the best runner in New Zealand. It's never really been never really been any argument about that. I guess when it comes to running, generally the way it's been looked at, um, before I guess I sort of broke the mould or you know whatever, um, as it would be regarded as an entry level position. If you wanted to get into the industry, you might be 18, 19, you want to come in, you do a couple of jobs of running, and then you sort of move off into another department, you know, whatever that interests you, and you know, sort of move up the so-called ladder, you know. One we're working on at the moment is uh, Kingdom Come. It's about this bloke, um, Jesus Christ, yeah, Son of God and all that. Part of the duties on this one, I've got to pick up the cinematographer. Vittorio Storaro, his name is, from uh, Italy. There you go, mate. But uh, I guess I sort of defied the odds when it comes to that. Because uh, I've been doing this, you know, a lot longer than fucking one or two jobs, you know. And as a result of that, whenever there's a job comes into town, you know, I'm the first guy they call up. Vittorio, how you going, mate? Look, uh, sorry to spring this on you, but I uh, won't be able to give you a ride into work today, or probably tomorrow. Something's come up, so I've got you a uh, map. There's five bucks. You'll be able to get yourself a bus in, all right? You'll be okay? Are you serious? Well, you know, I knew you'd understand, mate, if I sort of put it to your right. You're so. supposed to visit the Italian bus, though. Look, the bus service here, mate, is fantastic. You'll be there in no time. You read up on that for a couple of minutes, you'll be sorted out for the rest of the week, I'm telling you. Thank you for the five bucks. No trouble, mate. We'll see you soon, eh? You know, it's funny the things you get uh, you get asked to do. All right, we had this big time fucking Hollywood dickhead comes down. Right, <laughs> working us like pigs, which is fine, you know, no trouble. We're into our sixth day. We're into our fifth hour of overtime on a Sunday, middle of fucking winter, and this guy wants you know two punnets of boysenberries. Bring him here, he reckons. Well, who are you going to go to? I'm that guy, you know. So that's pressure, you know, when that sort of shit happens. But, I mean, every every position within the industry does have its pressures. You know, focus pullers got to know how to do the camera, you know. Props, you know, how much water was in that cup, you know, in the last take. Got to get it back up to that level. You know, so they've all got their pressures. Just mine are a little bit more, you know, a little bit more subtle. I wouldn't say they're more important than any other pre Maybe a little bit more important, you know than the other pressures that other people face. Because if you haven't got happy people, then you haven't got a happy set. You haven't got a happy set, you got a fucking shit film, right? Yeah. So, I mean, I even know the menstrual cycles. What the fuck is that? Stop beeping, everything must be sweet. I mean, I know the menstrual cycles of every chick on set. You know? It's fucking, it's the 18th of the month, you know, it's Sarah, Jane, whatever, you know, I know how, I know how all that shit works, I mean, I bet you don't know that about, you know, the chicks in your department, do you? But fucking no one, no one should know that stuff, right? But I, I know all that stuff, you yeah. know. Hey, and listen, mate, another thing, you do your job and I'll do mine, okay? Yeah, Thanks good for good Back in you go. Jesus Christ, right, so, first thing you do when you get on, when you get onto set is wardrobe, right? Second thing is makeup. This is where the, uh, the sort of hierarchy comes into play. The way it works is the lowest star on the on the rank, right? He comes in first, and the biggest star comes in later. This allows the uh, big stars to have a few minutes extra of beauty sleep. There we go. G'day, Linda. How's it going? Hey, Paul. Fucking Paul, it's mine. Sorry, sorry. So, uh, who have you had in the chair before me? Nobody. Cross, the idea is, you know, you got to make me look good, right? So we've got to talk it up just a little bit. Right, so we'll start it again. So, uh, who have you had in the chair before me today? 
Well, I've had Thomas Kitchman, but who hasn't? That's a fair point. And uh, just talking about myself, what do you think we'll start? It's pretty much a perfect picture already. Well, what about the moustache? It's a bit gimmer, don't you think? It's a thing of beauty, I would have thought. How simple are I treating you? Well, how the fuck do you know I'm so... It's pretty obvious. Well, the whole idea is that I'm meant to look good. Once again, fuck it, we're just going to do craft services. <laughs> With the experience comes knowledge. And uh, knowledge is power, they say. I don't know why they say that, but they say it. And the thing is that, like I know things about heads of departments, like the head of the art department, right? Coffee, flat white, one sugar, mind yourself. Flat white, one sugar, paper cup with a lid because he doesn't like getting the coffee in his bed, right? Head of the miniatures department, soy latte, large, first thing in the morning, straight after lunch, that's it, two a day. That's enough for her, you know? Boys in the lighting department, I know what kind of tape they like, how thick, what colour, I know where to get it from, cheapest price, I know what they're using it for, you know, the whole lot. I don't know what they want to use it for. But the point is that I get the tape and then they use it for whatever it is that they use it for, you know. I mean, I've got my job and they've got, you just, yeah, I get the tape. So yeah, the heart and soul of any uh, film set is definitely the craft services area. And here we've got Nigel, he's, uh, he's poured Don Perignon for the Sultan of Brunei. He's uh, poured bucket loads of Coca-Cola for Peter Jackson, mate. So he's the fucking, he's the best. Hey, Nigel. Get a uh, flat white, mate, with one sugar, please. Fuck off. What do you mean, fuck off? Oh, fucking make it yourself, mate. You're just a runner, buddy. No, I don't. Everyone has a bad day, I suppose. Little Miss Lauren Horsley. Hello, Mike. How are you? Well, have a look for yourself. <laughs> You're not really very hairy, are you? No, nah, not me. I thought they would have got someone a bit more, you know, hairy, a bit more manly for the role. Oh, is that right? A bit more manly, is it? Well, we've got a saying where I come from. Yeah. Grass yeah. doesn't grow on steel. Oh, Jesus Christ. It's true. Oh. I thought you must have shaved it. So what? Shaved Fuck it. off. Fuck off, you heard me. You don't say that sort of thing to a fucking man from Levin, right? Beat it. Beat it. Fucking cheek it. A couple of movies, eh? We're all fucking heroes. The, uh, the last big one I worked on was uh, Avatar with James Cameron. Titanic, you know, 13 Academy Awards, you know. Got along really good with them. Great sense of humour, you know. Just good chemistry between the two of us. Jimbo, I call them Jimbo. There was one time he uh, took, took me aside on the set, right, and he goes, You fucking piece of shit, you know? Get off my fucking set. Oh, yeah. That was a fucking good one, you know, like real loud in front of everybody, you know? It was good. I thought, oh, you know, I'll play along with the joke. I can tell a couple of jokes, you know? I was like, oh, is that right? Fuck you. Come down here with your billions of fucking dollars, will you? You know? Your big 3D camera that you helped invent, you know, shoot the fucking script that you fucking wrote. Hey, who's the fucking king of the world, you know? Yeah, not you, cunt, right? You're in my fucking world down here, so shut your fucking winch pipe. Boom. And the whole fucking place, mate, the whole set, right? <laughs> it just went deathly, deathly quiet. It's a bit of a misunderstanding, obviously, but... Oh, yeah, I nearly lost my job over that one. But luckily, I, uh, I knew one of the producers pretty well, right? So I managed to sweet talk my way out of it. He was a really, you know, really, really friendly guy. You ever taste a human penis? Yeah, so uh, today's a pretty big scene. It's a uh, fight scene, and it's uh, something that takes a lot out of you physically and mentally, so it's really important that you just have a bit of time to yourself to get into the zone, you know, a bit of, bit of peace and quiet. Uh, <laughs> 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 it's 
saying that um, you, you shave your chest. Yeah, so. <laughs> he doesn't, he doesn't. She said he waxes it. <laughs> Which is it? Wax or shave? Do I, uh, I wax it. Ouch! Yeah. yeah. Oh, really? Every Saturday night I, uh, I sit down and I wax my chest and then I, uh, I paint my, my toenails pink and then I go up to fucking uh, Elton John's place here and we just sit on the bed and hold hands for a while. It's a beautiful fucking thing. You want to come? Do you help let some finger in? Yeah, and of course, I mean, I've worked on uh, some pretty big productions, right? Like, you know, Lord of the Rings, 13 Academy Awards, you know, King Kong, slightly less than that. Um, some other ones as well, along over the years. So what tends to happen though is, you know, it's never about the work with the average Joe on the street. All they want to know is, oh, you know, what's fucking Naomi Watts like, Jack Black, you know? What's he like? Must be a cracker. Yeah, he is. Funny guy. Adrian Brody, you know? Fucking Orlando Bloom, you must have partied with all the stars, you know? Yeah, I have. But I don't talk about that sort of shit, you know? It's confidential as far as I'm concerned. I mean, I, I doubt they're back in LA going, oh, fuck, there's this great guy down in New Zealand, you know, Mike Minogue, funny as, you know, whatever, you know. I'm sure they keep that to themselves, so I'm not going to open up about it. Save it for the autobiography, you know. The person I'll probably get asked about most would be uh, Peter Jackson. And people always say, what's he like, what's he like? And the thing is with Peter, right, it's he's just chased his dream, right? He loves making movies. And as a byproduct of that, he's become rich and famous. You know? If his passion was fucking, I don't know, working at a servo, pumping gas, loves it, cleaning the fucking windows, whatever, you'd never have heard of him, would you? Peter's just chased his dream, and he's got it, and he's gotten famous over it. Brilliant. So whenever people ask me, you know, what's Peter Jackson like, you know? I just always say, Peter Jackson is a fucking good bastard. Never fucking met him though. Wouldn't it be great to meet Peter, Peter Jackson? Like, fuck it out. Mum's still asking me if I've met him. Fuck's sake, back off. Oh, fucking warned you. Some actors. We are indeed. So let's say goodbye to those actors now. I just want to say thank you so much to Michael, so much to Cohen, Cohen, so much to Cheers, Phil. Pelling. You guys did a brilliant job. Thank you so, so much. Well, there we go. That's it. The end of the big acting gig. But uh. From the looks of the way they were just talking to me, it's not the fucking last. They love me. But for now, I guess it's back yeah. to the running. Yeah. Only be a matter, matter hey. of time, though, I reckon, before I'm onto the. Sorry, Jeremy. Hey, Jeremy, well done. That was awesome. Sorry, Thanks, guys. mate, but it's, uh, it's Mike, mate. It's always been fucking Mike. Sorry, that's. Yeah, cheers. Well, you know, it was awesome, man. Yeah, well done. Thanks very much. Fucking Aussies, eh?